Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry that I'm doing a video six months after my last one, but I did stop YouTube and I was gonna carry on stopping YouTube, but I had so many people ask me whether I was gonna do another YouTube video um, and if I was gonna carry on doing YouTube or if I was quitting altogether. And really I was gonna quit altogether. I just could not be bothered with doing YouTube anymore. Um, obviously there's so many hateful people on here and it just was like negativity that I just didn't really, wasn't really interested in. So I wasn't going to do it anymore, but I've had so many people ask. So I thought I would do kind of like a, a life update video. In the past six months, my life has changed very dramatically. So if you watched my last video, apart from the OnlyFans one, uh, you would know that I had just bought the 34. I had just moved into a place uh, by myself. And then obviously coronavirus happened and we were all put in lockdown. So I had a really bad couple of months over the lockdown period. Obviously moving into a place by myself, I was completely isolated um, and it was really difficult, but we move. So I'm in a completely different space now. Um, I'm in a new house with Elliot and I've got new cars, I've got a new puppy and yeah, life is going good. So I just thought I'd just kind of give you an update on everything. I am gonna take a trip down to the unit in a minute because that is where two of my new cars are and I've got one outside and I've got one in the garage. So the last time you watch a video, if you don't follow me on social media, then you will kind of be like really in the dark of what's been going on. But if you do follow me on Instagram, you would see the updates of the 34 and you would see all of the other cars that I have bought. So in the last video, I had just got back from um, kind of doing a little video on the 34 literally like the day after we bought it or two days after we bought it on the way back as i was leaving connor's my daily at the time which was a 330d i you probably would remember if you did watch the other videos if you haven't just go back and watch just like recap a little bit but yeah so my 330d literally died we actually don't know what it was i think it was like i don't know i can't even remember what it was but anyway anyway it's so stupid went for a whole thing where connor was going to fix it and then it was just like there was no reason to fix it because it was just not worth the money so we ended up scrapping it um i sold it to someone very cheap and i was like well now i need a new daily so i did go out and buy a new daily which i will go show you in a minute obviously that one's outside and i will show you what the 34 looks like now because i am in love with it um obviously it's got a lot of hate recently if you if you have seen my stuff um so yeah i will go out and show you guys in a minute then i'm going to take a trip down to unit because that's where the other two cars are and elliot's 15 as well so yeah, but first I just want to introduce you to my new puppy. I literally haven't posted her anywhere, um, apart from a couple of Instagram stories, but this is Nova. No, we didn't name her after the Vauxhall Nova. We just really liked the name Nova. And then after we'd named her and had her for a couple of weeks, then somebody said, oh, so like the Vauxhall Nova? No, no. But look how cute she is. She's so fluffy. Um, she is a basically Chihuahua, Cavalier, Poodle, and Yorkie so she's got quite a few things but she is literally the cutest thing we just wanted a friend for Theo um, my other dog so because he was getting really lonely obviously like with work and stuff I do go out a lot I'm always out seeing friends and stuff so we just kind of want a little like companion for him and I wanted another dog so yeah you're so beautiful aren't you she's so cute um so yeah puppy over i'm gonna head out now i'll show you the 34 which is in the garage and then i'll show you the new daily and then i'm gonna head up to the unit so i will see you in a minute also, by the way it's an absolute tip at the moment because um my dogs are messy but yeah i'm just gonna head up to the garage and show you the 34 first you have to excuse my garage as well it's also very messy because elliot moved in instead of moving his stuff anywhere he just put it in the garage and left it you say you want to try but you never do sugar there's a reason why we lose you say you want to cry but you never do sugar there's a So here we have the 34, hang on, 
there we go so like i said garage is an absolute mess um so it's in millennium jade that was the color we went for i actually did not know this was a color until uh me and connor were talking about it we were like what color should i spray it and he said i was thinking about orange i really wanted to burn orange um but he wasn't really keen and i didn't really love it i do like the color but i just didn't really love it um and then he was like well how about millennium jade uh so i showed him he showed me the color and i was like yes i love it literally it took it down to the paint shop literally a week after i bought it so it was there for like quite a while i didn't pick it up until like two months ago um but yeah as it was like millennium jade 100 percent. then obviously i had to get the kit and the wheels and the coilovers and stuff um so the wheels that are on it are 720 style 55 i believe um but these are 10.5 j on the rear so it sits quite nice and then on the front they are 8.5 don't ask what the et is i have no idea what they are i want to say 50 but these were the wheels that were on the 14 i'm pretty sure in my last video i think that they were on there um and because we kind of threw the 34 together very quickly we were like oh i can't bother to like pick some more wheels and i was like well these wheels that we've got might, might look kind of cool on it we tried it and they do look sick i absolutely love them on here i actually don't like them on the 14 anymore i'm not having them on the 14 i have to now find more wheels for the 14 but yeah so these are going to be staying for a while i am looking for some other wheels um which i'm trying to get imported that are very rare if you've seen me talk about it on my story you'll know what i mean um so yeah hopefully these should become the daily wheels and then i should have some cooler wheels going on this if you can guess what those wheels are do comment them below because i'm interested to see what you think um so yeah that's the 34 so i'm gonna head to the unit now and show you the other two cars and obviously i've got to show you the daily that's outside as well okay so i just got to the unit and the first thing i'll show you is the new daily i say new but i've had it since may so this is the new daily it is so dirty so i'm really sorry about that but i have obviously have to go down lanes to get here and stuff so it's a bmw 318 um i know people are really disappointed about the fact it's not a 320 or a 330 but it's only a daily so it doesn't really matter um but yeah So when I bought it, it was the only car that I had that was running. Um, by the way, trying to find a car in lockdown was so difficult. Um, so yeah, it was the only car I had that was running. So I had a little couple of bits done to it when we came like out of lockdown. Um, so I had the carbon wing mirrors. I had a straight through exhaust system by Duxfab um, with like the twin pipes on the back, which looks really cool. It's like my favorite thing that we've done to it. I had a carbon diffuser from Power Body Styling and oh narco tuned it as well so big up to narco um because it was so slow it was like 140 brake or something and i was just like i was driving it around and i was like i literally cannot do this like just going from having the sylvia and then having the 330 i was oh god i cannot do it so yeah they they mapped it i think it got 197 so that's like a comfortable space for my daily so yeah proper rate that so next car on the list so the next car I bought after that was this S15. Now I got so much hate for this because everyone was trying to say that I was trying to pass off this car as being this car. Obviously there's two, they're completely different cars. So the one that I bought um, is obviously the same color as Elliot's. That's super embarrassing, but whatever, we move. Um, so it's a Spec S. So I actually bought this. A lot of Sylvia people will know Dave Yandel at DY Engine. So I bought this off him. Um, and it also came with, which a lot of Sylvia people will appreciate, is a full aero kit. So I've got the front bumper, the back bumper, the spoiler. Um, I've also got this little Nismo spoiler. So I don't actually know which one I prefer, the big one or the little like ducktail thing. Um, and then it's got the rear spats, which need fixing. But yeah, full aero kit. So my plan with this is basically to get a full respray because there's so many little bits around it. It just definitely needs a respray and there's little dents and stuff um so yeah full respray get the kit on it needs some new seats inside because i'll show you one of, it's got one recaro but it's just 
absolutely screwed. You can see there, it's just like proper, I wonder if it's open actually. Oh, it's open. Yeah, so you can see inside. I was driving it around for like two weeks, so it's a bit messy. But yeah, definitely use a new seat. And obviously it's got the standard one. But I think what I'm going to do is put in Elliot's Sylvia seats, the blue ones, because he's got my Corbos in there, which he won't give back. So, and then when Dave got it, he also did, um, I think it was a full set of new brakes and the wheels as well, which is really annoying because they're like a bronzy color and these are like a bronzy color. So it literally, when I was driving this around, it looks like me and Leah have just kind of got the same car. Or like I've just tried to completely um, copy him. So like I said, it was a spec S, is a spec S. So if you remember rightly, I have still got my turbo engine from my S14, which we're basically gonna put in here. So it'll be like kind of like a spec R converted with a full aero kit. So it should be pretty cool. I still haven't decided on what color I want to, um, spray it i'm stuck between either like a metallic gray or a yellow or maybe a red but i don't know so any suggestions would be helpful there's rob's 33 um and then obviously elliot sylvia's in here because it's like coming up to winter time now then we've got a whack of wheels and then we've got the next car so this is an absolute dog but it doesn't really matter um so we actually had our first drift day well my first drift day on the saturday just gone um so that is why it is a complete mess. Oh my God. So if anybody went to the drift day or they were aware of the weather on Saturday, it was absolutely horrendous. I will put in a couple of videos that got taken on the day of me and Elle drifting this. Well, I say drifting, me attempting to drift it. Um, I have never drifted before. And yeah, I literally have no experience in drifting whatsoever. Me trying to drift in the rain well, I say drift, learn to drift in the rain, in that, whilst we're not allowed to have anyone in the car because of COVID restrictions, was difficult. It was very difficult. Um, but I kind of got there in the end. Um, obviously, I need a lot more practice. Um, I really want to be good at drifting. So. You say you want to cry, but you never do. Sugar, there's a with a 2.5 in it from an E46. Um, so from, I don't really know much about these BMWs, but from what I heard, it's like the worst, the worst engine that you could put in it. Like there's a better one or something you can put in it, but I literally don't know the difference between all of them. Um, there's literally nothing inside. I bet it stinks near because it's so wet from the rain. But yeah, it's literally just hanging, absolutely hanging. So, yeah, that's kind of all the cars, really. So we've got the 36, the 15, and the F31 outside, and obviously the changes that have been done to the 34. Yeah, so that's kind of it, really, for kind of like my life update, I guess. I hope someone found this video interesting. Because the only thing I haven't mentioned, which I thought I probably should kind of like briefly talk about, was uh, my Instagram got deleted. So... It was the day after my 22nd birthday. I literally had been on Instagram five minutes before, went to log back on and it said, sorry, we're unable to log you in. And I was like, okay. So like it done it a couple of times before and then you just have to like re put in your password and stuff. Now bearing in mind, I've had this Instagram since I was 15, something like that, like 2014, I think I got it. I don't know how old I was then. 16, don't know, whatever. Um, so it had all of my pictures on there from like my friends when I was younger, literally my whole kind of like thing with having my Fabia, then getting my Sylvia and like all that stuff. And anyway, so I couldn't get back into it. Basically, somebody had reported me for intellectual property 
um, and purposely got my account taken down. I have my suspicions that I know who it was, but obviously I'm not gonna get into that. So I've had to restart with like a whole new Instagram. So I think I had like 29.8K before it got deleted, which for me was like quite a lot. I was like super impressed with like where I'd got to and how many followers, followers I had accumulated. Um, so basically don't follow my new one. Please do follow it, I will pop it below. Um, because that's where I post the most and yeah, it's really annoying that it got taken down, but we move, whatever, don't really care. I'm going to say bye now because I don't really have much else to say, but thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to try and get back into doing YouTube a bit more, but I don't really have much to film, but I'll see what I can do. So yeah, thanks very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.